Game two of the ALDS. It's the Los Angeles Angels against the Chicago White Sox. And it's game time on 2K Sports. Game two of the division series. It's on tap right now. Welcome, everybody. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, Sean Kruk. We go to the mound to take a look. Jared Weaver in for a tough day with the supposing lineup. Cellular Field in Chicago. The White Sox looking for a little home match. We're going to see Mark Burley pitch. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have. It's brought to you by Pepsi. Thoughts, John? Eric Ibar leading it off. Steve, as this game gets going here, what's your take on the White Sox? Well, they have to feel good about how they've played to this point, but they can't rest on their laurels. They have to keep the pressure on. You don't get to the playoffs in advance by letting up. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Burley, first out of the ball game, taken care of right there. And we know there's going to be some stiff opposition team, which you were talking about. The guys out here are under no illusion that this series is just something they're going to walk away with. Oh, you're, there's no doubt. They're going to keep playing, too. They want to win. They know it just takes one thing to turn things around and get back in the series. Two retired here. It's Morales at the plate. Two outs, bases empty. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he strike wanted two. to throw. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike, 0-2. He deals. Foul. Morales makes contact, fouled off. And he strikes out Kendry Morales. Great pitch. That throws him in, out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. And the White Sox, their first chance is cut. Let's take a look at Anaheim's starter. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. As a hitter, Jared Weaver makes it very difficult because he's got pitches that move in every direction. He's tough to center on the bat because of that movement. You have to try to be able to sit on a certain pitch, look for it, and drive it. Otherwise, it could be a long night. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. Ground ball to his tourist. And so Damon retired. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? You would love to see how Joe Creedy's career would have played out if he didn't have so many back injuries. Here's a guy that, that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. He's one of the best. There's a swing and a smash. And so Ramirez retired. Two men have been put away. And Paul Canerco to bat. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. On one. That's just a great pitch right there. I mean, that's the hardest pitch for a hitter to try to stay right back two. on. That's why he was out in front of that one. He swings on a pitch. That was in the dirt. That's a strike. Whoa. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And there's Romero. Pulls it in. Third out. And a one, two, three. Good to have you with us here tonight. These fans here at the ball yard dealing with some pretty frigid weather. They're bundled up. And the strike early catches him looking. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Swung on and a ground to the first. And that one is through. First hit of the ball game for this club. Coming to back. Sometimes risky business when you go after that extra base. Yeah, Gary, that dive in the second base was the key as well. He didn't slow down at all. Able to extend his arms and get in there. Indeed. And it's Juan Rivera now. Strike started off the at bat on one. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another oh. one now. And Rivera watches that one go by. The count is even. On the way. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. 
Okay, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Lays off that fastball. It's a call strike. Two and two. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Hit in the air to left center. That's in there. Should score the runner. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Well, this is exactly how you plan a game. You make sure you take advantage early in the game, get that offense going to get that run on the board. Really tries to lay into that first pitch, but he misses on one. The key to a great changeup is deception and velocity change. He has both of those, and that's why it's so good. And with that changeup, keeping hitters off balance. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Coming Fantastic back. chance here. Well, now I have to give it up three straight hits. The manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. Got a feeling on this visit to the mound, there's going to be a little deep chatter going on. I think a little heart to heart out there, a little challenge from the manager to see how he's doing. Also, probably talking a little bit of strategy. Runners at the corners with no one out. Hit in the dirt. And he's got it. Out at the plate. But he'll hang on to that so they will get one. Well, when you check the box scores after this game, you're going to see where this ball scored a base hit. Wasn't hit well, not pretty, but he'll take it. And Woods batter. Good pitch from Burley, swung on and missed. He delivers. Don't strike in a fastball, and it's 0-2. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches, up, down, see you later. He's already back at the bench. And we've got his tourist batting. Lined up the middle. And another one. It's contagious. And Napoli's on his way home. And Napoli comes in to score. Anaheim there continuing. The bats are hot. Eric Heibar. Well, that pitch was upstairs, but he went up there and got it. Well, a nice piece of hitting got up on top of that ball and drove it. First pitch to him. Oh! Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. Well, he went with the changeup right there, but he kept it up in the strike zone. He's lucky the hitter laid off of that. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They love to be able to put early pressure on picking up some runs here in the second. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. Weaver sets, throws, swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four seamer. Strike, strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes, Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. You're Big out. swing and a miss. Carlos Quinton goes down swinging. K-Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour. Some pretty good break. And Beckham's in the box. Lifetime numbers 8 for 24 against the Angels. Hit sharply towards the hole. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. Well, he did his job right there, getting on base. Now with one out, let's see if they can move him around and get him in scoring position. Weaver sets, throws. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. A good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front foot. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. Now we've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. It's going to be Krasinski. A runner on first with two outs. Swing and a miss on a good pitch from Weaver. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind in the count. Defensive stance at the plate. And A.J. Brzezinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Some good work there. Jared Weaver, he emerges from the first two innings on scale. 
is Mike Sosia you're looking at. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. Foul the way. Oh, and one. Burley kicks and delivers. Beckham. So Kendrick is down. That's just textbook defense right there, Gary. The ball is fielded by the second baseman. Gets the easy out at first. Now the first pitch. Line towards first. And that is in there. Morales base hit. And that's going to bring Corey Hunter to the plate. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base, and he does with one out. That base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. He blew that one right by him. Swung out and ripped towards second. The Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? Left fielder, number 20, Juan Rivera. Guy tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead in the count, and then you give up the base hit. Damon, as he drops back and puts it away. And he's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. First pitch, here it comes. That one's lined softly towards the gap left center. And that one is in there, his second hit today. And Morales will score. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. RBI situation for Bobby Abreu. Well, they definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Oh, that last hit puts a little bit more daylight in this lead right now, Gary. They keep tacking on early. Mark Burley gets that important strike, 0 and 2. Not a comfortable lead yet, but it's an early statement. One, well, it's a statement that says, you know what? We're going to score some runs for our, our guy and putting pressure on the opposition's offense. Oh! Abreu will foul that one away. Burley with a delivery. Oh. Abreu battling here with a foul ball. Well, anytime you're behind in the count, you just want to try to spread out and oh. try to put the ball in play. And that's what he did right there. He didn't put it in play, though, but he kept it foul to keep the at-bat alive. Throw on to second base, force play, side retire. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. L.A. with a three-run lead. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Number 29, Joe Creedy. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Rivera to field this one. As he gets to it for the up. Well, he hit this one well, but it hangs up long enough to give the left fielder just enough time to run underneath and make the catch. It's going to be Tomei now. And in this matchup, lifetime 281 off the Angels. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0-1. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He can't connect on that, Jeff Tomei, up empty on a swing. When you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. Fastball bounces to the plate that time. One one pitch slider taken for a strike one and two. Well this starts out a strike and it ends up a strike. You got to swing the bat. Slider swung on and missed struck him out. That's going to retire the side and a good half inning. They're gone in short order in this one. White Sox still looking. And Woods batting. Designated hitter number three Brandon Wood. And here's the first one. 
There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Damon. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. And we've got a Sturris batting. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Burley with a delivery. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. Rome's over, puts it away. Good first step movement by the right fielder. Good angle to run this one down and make a nice running catch. First pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. He'll throw one to first, and that'll do it for this happening. Amazing. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's ready to start the home half here in the fourth inning. Ramirez. Hot shot towards the hole. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And he starts Canerco out. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. The throw. And Ramirez stretching it. And Ramirez is home. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Fouled off that first pitch, and won the count. That is strike two. Jared Weaver now, he's dominating. Apparently he's looking for something a lot harder than that four-seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. Down on strikes there, nice piece of pitching. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change your hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there, three pitches and a strikeout. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pick. One and one. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Can't two. connect on that curve. Falls behind. One and two. The one two from Weaver. You're out. Cutter called strike three. He knew it too. Two down. Check out the movement on this on K Cam. Watching at 85 miles per hour. Here it comes. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and lined up the middle. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. That Erko's going to try and score here. And he scores. Now well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run score, and if you're in that at bat, what you want to do is make contact. He did, and it pays off. First pitch on the way. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Batting three for 13 lifetime off Jared Weaver. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. The hitter now needs to protect the plate. Think about going right back up the middle. Now Napoli sets up. That one's drilled to short. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. They pick up two runs, three base hits, and leave the bases empty. The White Sox are not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good... A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. This club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning, pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. Strike one! And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pick. That's one down. Well, they call it the hot corner for a reason, as this ball is scorched. It almost took his hand off. The first pitch. A shot up the middle, and in there, he's two for three today. 
Stepping up to the Man, plate. he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. Runner on here Torrey for Torrey Hunter. Burley with a delivery. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0 1. Ground ball towards the second baseman. The second, there's one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough to well, They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. Here's the pitch to Rivera. And the strike, Burley catches him looking. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Some good work, Mark Burley. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. First pitch to Creedy. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0 and 1. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. Line drive. So he's aboard. Base hit. Nobody out. Designated hitter. Number 27. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Here's the pitch. Tommy will foul that one away. Line shot into center field. One away. Stepping up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. Hunter on first now for Johnny Damon. 19 career at bats, three hits off Weaver. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a strike. Weaver got him looking. Liner towards the hole, and that is in there. The go-ahead run on board. Greedy on his way to third, and not stopping there. He's going for it. Oh, they're scrambling. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment. Alexei Ramirez. Uh, or one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Well, you take a look at Alexi Ramirez. He's one of the more exciting players in baseball. Finally got moved to his more natural position shortstop. And I tell you what, this is a guy that can excite you in a lot of ways. He can hit for power. He can hit for average. And he's not a big guy, but I tell you what, he can generate some power in that frame. One for two in the ball game. He got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. RBI chance goes to Paul Pinerco. Lifetime, one for 11 off Weaver. He waved at that breaker and misses, and an 0 1 count. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. And Paul Pinerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Swing and a drive, deep left center. It comes off the wall in left center. And Creedy comes home. And Damon also comes in. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. From the ribbies on that swing, we'll see the impact on our Pepsi WPA board. This pitch down to the zone, he handles it beautifully. Big time hit in a clutch situation. And he'll be applauding himself for that base hit. Two RBIs and a tough pitch. They've decided it was time to make a change here. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Steve, great determination by this offense. It looks like they may take charge of this ball game late. I'll tell you what, Gary, we're seeing a solid, consistent, professional approach from these hitters. And it's paying off because they now have the lead. Pitch on the way. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. The White Sox leading now. 
catch a glimpse of Mike Sosha. Maybe a moment of recovery here for him, watching his team fall behind. Now trying to figure out how to get some production. Burley with a delivery. Strike one. Lays off the called strike. 0 and 1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Ground ball, Creedy. And it is through. The tying run is on. That's going to bring up Bobby Abreu. But just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. First pitch to Abreu. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. You can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Now the opportunity for offense is right in. now. He goes hitter. right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls right. it. Out. And Woods batting. 0 for 3 lifetime off Mark Burley. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone. Oh! Still 0-2. Here's the delivery. Oh! It's fouled off. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He Ground ball, greedy. That's one out. And the double play, they got a ball. Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is for team success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. And the first pitch. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that is in there. The go-ahead run on board. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big-time momentum. It's Ibar at the plate. Well, this offense now really a renewed momentum, Steve. That's a good piece of hitting we saw right there, Gary. Quality at bat, coming up with a big hit to tie this one up. There are big at bats, and that was one of them. And the first pitch, fastball in there for a called strike. You know, Gary, talk about big at bats. Well, in those at bats, you have to battle, and that's what they're doing. And they now have shifted the momentum. Let's see if it can continue. Started to go around. That pitch is in there anyway. 0 and 2. You're Swing out. and a miss. Strike three on Eric Ibar. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. We've got a stalemate going. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Here's the first pitch. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Here's the pitch. A swing line to left center. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. He's in there at second base, still no one away. Number 51, Alex Rios. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. One away. Now the runner will have to hold at second. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pruszynski. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. One out with a runner at second. Here's the first pitch. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. He hits up against the wall on the bounce. There's the throw. They score the run. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. One scored, another one on base. And on second, one away. He deals. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. Over his career, a 265 hitter off the Angels. 
on the way. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy. He'll lean in on that zone now. The hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here down 0-2. Tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Oh. One two pitch coming. He makes contact, line drive. And here's Brzezinski heading home. And the run is in. Now, Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now because they are home. number 27. Now he takes his 1-2 pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base here. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact. And he got it. Swing and a miss. Told me. Strike one. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. Well, K-Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Oh well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. They pick up two, three hits. Strand a man. Low whites. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And he starts Kendrick out. Hit up the middle. Beckham. Out. One away. Up to the plate. For the Los Angeles Angels of First It's base. Morales at the plate. Two for three thus far. Oh. And he watches the low pitch from Bush. Went out right here, up by two in the inning. You want to limit base runners. In May. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. That is in. Now it's going to bring the, the tying run to the plate. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Here's the first pitch to Hunter. Ball. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. Now Brzezinski sets up. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. The 2 0 pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And it's in there. The tying run on board. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Runners on first and second with one out. The pitch from Bush. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Gets that call up to the ease. Evens the count at one apiece. Well, he couldn't have asked for a better pitch. He likes the ball down the middle. Hot shot towards the hole. The pick. Now up to the plate. Now, it's now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Okay, this is where David Bush is really going to have to bear down and find a way out of this mess. And he's in some late inning trouble here. Even though they've got the lead, Sacks full, only one out. Okay, the defense should be a double play depth in this situation. They're protecting the lead. They need the ground ball to get out of the inning. Bases are loaded here with only one away. The first pitch, he swings, it's a ball to right field. And it gets through, Napoli knocking in the run. Now 
Well, the pitcher's got to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get an out that's now four straight hits he's given So Bobby Abreu is batting. And he has a golden opportunity oh, here. This is a big at bat. But Gary, a hit could give them the lead. An extra base hit could really start to spread the margin. They are back in this game. Oh. That one swung on its line. It's one. And two. They pull off the double play. They pick up four hits in the inning, but manage only one run. Angels doing a nice job as they start to work their way back. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Trying to get here, just worked for three thus far. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect to 1 1. Numbers over his career 255 off the Angels. And it's fouled off. There's a swing, a ball hit high, deep, straight away left field. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanded Number here. 14. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. No outs and nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. Horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. Steve, uh, what a great shot that is. Uh, a momentum builder that comes late in the ball game, and now a chance to win this thing. And now they can see if they can continue to get more offense to keep the pressure on. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out, one away. Even the best hitters can hit a 96 mile an hour fastball if he doesn't get more movement out of than what he's throwing there. He delivers. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. With a good swing on it, he knew what to do with it for that double. It's going to be David Weathers on the mound. He's coming on in relief for the Angels. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. Line towards second, played by Kendrick, and Beckham set down. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet close to score. Now the first pitch. Right. Wings a little early that time, 0-1. Well, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. David Weathers gets ahead, 0-2. Swing, hot shot, played by Kendrick. Throws to first in time, that's three down. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox by two. Another chance to the lead. Woods back. Over three to this point. Designated hitter for three, Brandon Wood. And here's the first one. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Uh, clearly, we're getting very late here in the ball game. And, you know, the game's getting short, so you've got to look to play for a big inning. That swung on and grounded up the middle. In time for the up. And we've got his tourist back here. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, they're losing right now, but his two RBIs at least are hope for the future. First pitch, here it comes. Right Fastball one. is in there. It's 0-1. I like think down by two runs right here now, Gary. I think that you've really got to look at trying to get some big hits. You need that clutch hit. You need somebody to walk into it and try. You know the pitcher's going to throw strikes. You know he's going to try not to walk anybody, so be oh. more aggressive. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. And he fouls off another one. 
Well, with the way we keep tracks of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. Oh. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Oh. Fastball low for a ball, 2-2. Two two. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout, too. Well, here's a novel idea. The ball's right down the middle. Swing! It's Ibar at the plate. Base is empty with two outs. And the first pitch. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. A two down. You want a two out rally right here in the eighth inning. You just don't want to put it all back up the middle. And makes its way through. The tying run will come to bat. Well, late in the game and you're behind by a few runs. You're going to need base runners and a two out base hit right here. This team needs to string a few more together if they want to try to tie this one up. And he starts Kendrick out. That'll do it as they put that one away. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. The familiar face of Mike Social. He wants offense and he wants his pitching to shut the door too. Two runs back. He needs a little of each. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. With a great pitch right there. Threw in that slider and hit her just out in front of it. Swung early. Came up empty. Back up the middle. And he gets that one down. His second hit. Two for four today. Now guy tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the play. That is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead on the count, and then you give up a base hit. First pitch to Creedy. A smash towards the hole. We talk about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. Swing and a line drive. And that's going to be another hit for them. Well, that's hit number 15, and then for that one, and boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The matter is you can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. First pitch on the way to Damon. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0 and 1. Good, hard, boring, sinking action on that one. Good stuff. The pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And it's going to be Hunter. And he meanders over to put it away. And that will keep the bases loaded. They had him stuck out there between second and third. He's tagged out. What a great opportunity for Alexi Ramirez to show what he's made of and to come up big for his teammates. He homered earlier in the ball game. Two men on, two men out. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swung on. Contact there. And Hunter. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So no runs. Three hits. Couple of men left. White Sox seven. And the Angels five. Ozzie Guillen taking a look at you right there. Got his club where he wants. Two insurance runs and hoping to close this one out. Hi. We'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. Chicago is ready to try and close this one out. Steve, as he gets into this Angels lineup, what's he looking at? Hey, take a look at this big body guy and Bobby Jenks out on the mound right here. And you know it's about power because of his size, but it's his hit sharply towards the hole. Are you talking about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition? That's a four-hit day for him. He is locked in. First pitch. And that's in there. Jenks ahead on one. Uh, Pitching-wise, you want to make them earn it, force them to get a base. Headed for the middle. And he'll have to hold it first. 
Uh, defensively, you went out here in the ninth inning, and you want to make a play. Just get it out. You will trade a run for an out here with a two-run lead. And it's one Rivera now, and a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. The pitch, strike. Sliders in there for a called strike. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Rivera now got to protect that strike zone. And Rivera will come up empty in this AB. Strike him out. A good sequence of pitches right there using location and selection to get the strikeout. Two outs and a man on first. And the first pitch. Oh, one. And Mike Napoli swings and misses at that one, and the count is now even. Uh, not a lot of expectation. There is a swing and a liner, and that gets the tying run on board. And that is hit number five in this ball game for him. Have a day, young man. Castillo is going to come into the ball game now and run. Well, they needed a little extra speed out there to cover the bases, potentially steal a base. Let's see if this added speed pays off. First pitch to Abreu. That one hit on the ground. Could be. Gamble lost. Tagged out on his way to third. A big playoff victory right here. And the hometown crowd very, very happy the way their players perform. Now we award our Pepsi Clutch performer, Mike Napoli, a game changer with the bat. A lot of times, Gary, you come into a game and you 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 dissect the game through your every at bat. Most of the time, you're only thinking you're going to get four at bats. Well, this guy got five hits today. And the best thing about those five hits is that it meant to leading his team to a win. He'll remember this one for a long time. And as they put the victory up in this one, they now sit enviably, we might add, just one win away from winning the series. And you have to credit them. They've come so far this year, and now they've 